style climbing in Squamish. <laughs> <laughs> the climbing's very technical. It's all about like shifting body weight. There are no holds. It's so good. There's this amazing problem called Easy Chair. Just so simple and so clean and I mean, everyone's climbed it. It's kind of a, a rite of passage in Spanish. Nice. Shots fired. Start on a low crimp rail, maybe? All the holds really good. It's very anti squamish. Squamish is not about holds. I didn't even dream of like looking at this this line. It's so it doesn't even have holds on it, like yeah, it's just this sort of like bulb thing. So when I was last in Squamish, I did this line called Tatonka. It was sort of just like steep. Anyway, there was a jug, like a jug that was so big you could hang hang out on it forever. And now there isn't. And now that it's gone, so you sort of have to come up with some pretty like cool Vita. I had already tried Barry, what's the name of it again? Angry Barry. Three years ago. And it went worse this time. <laughs> the moves, oh, you start low on the right hand side of a arching, a retty feature and you just fire up with heel hooks going along a slopey rail. There's like three or four holds on it higher up, which are okay but you need to get to them. And I fell off one of them. Go on. And then we never went back because it rained. That's why you've got mesh. Mm. Oh. Oh. 
There's this one problem called Tim's Sloper Problem. It, it's at the beginning of the Grand Wall kind of trail and it's awesome. It's one of the best problems like in that area. for porn here is a boulder problem I did that Jen didn't. Watch out! Planning testing? to the crux at the top, which isn't too hard. The holes are all there. Oh my god, there you are. Oh. Big fall. Oh. oh my god, he missed the bat. Oh. Yeah, it was kind of scary, but really good.
I don't know, it's so cool. Like it, it that problems like that are the reason that I, I don't know. Fine. Is this supposed to be inspiring people to come here? Because it, it, it won't. <laughs>